Hey everyone, I'm back and today I'm looking at batteries, lithium ion batteries, how to make them last longer in terms of the life of your battery and also how to make them last longer in your hydrating device. So if you're interested in batteries, uh, let's get into it. Alright, first up I want to quell a couple of um, myths about batteries. So, the first one is when you go into clockwork mode recovery and you want to clear your battery status, um, it does nothing. Every time you plug a charger into your phone, that battery status gets cleared anyway, so you're just doing something that's a waste of time. The next one I want to talk about is when you plug your phone in, it only, only charge it to 80%. Now this is kind of true, if you plug your phone in and it's really hot, and it gets to 80% and it takes an hour, it's going to take another hour to get to that last 20% to 100%. So if it's really hot and you've got your phone on the table and you're probably hitting 40 degrees, sure, unplug it because your battery getting overly hot is going to reduce the battery life. But if it's not hot, then not charging it beyond 80% is, is not going to help your system anyway. Now another myth is that when you first get your device, you've got to fully charge it. You don't have to. You get your device from the shop and it say it's got 30% left. You can just use it. Now um, lithium ion batteries have a little circuit in it. It's not a memory circuit like some people believe. All the circuit does is stop the device from continually charging if it's at 100%. So I guess there's two myths in this one. Once you've charged your phone and you leave it on the charge for like two or three hours, it's not going to suddenly give it an extra boost charge than it normally would. And you're certainly not going to wreck your phone by leaving it on the charge overnight when it's already completed its charge cycle. Okay, so anyway, enough um, CGI footage and enough of me talking about batteries. Now let's talk about how to make them last longer. Right, so the Play Store is full of applications like this one. Battery Saver Pro, that does absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. It doesn't run any magical scripts in the background that gets more battery life out of your battery. It's a load of rubbish. Don't download them. If you do, uninstall it. It's a load of crap and does absolutely nothing for your device. So I'm just going to go through now and uninstall that because it's a complete waste of time. I've checked this one out. Um, the only thing it does do is run a bit of CPU power in the background and drain my device. The only applications that can do things for you that are these ones here. That profile and turn hardware functions off and reduce backlight power automatically. Um, this one here you've got to do manually. You can tell it what to turn off and you click on it and it turns them all off like that Wi-Fi has gone off. And... I go and change some settings in here, like GPS, I want to turn that off. And I want to turn this one to manual and make it percentage right down low, so the screen's going to be off. And then when I activate it, it will do all the functions I have specified. There's heaps of applications that do this, and these are the only applications that you want to download because they will actually toggle them off for you. So instead of pulling down your option going off, 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 it does it for you. Uh, there's another application I'm about to show you that does it and it can do it at certain times of the day. So um, I'll just move on to that application now. Okay, this one's called Power Scheduler. Um, this one is actually a little bit more functionality and these are all free on the Play Store. I'll Actually, I'll put a link in the description so you can download those if you want. They're all free from the um, Android Play Store. So I'm going to set this profile to go at 10 o'clock at night. So about when I'm going to go to sleep, I'm going to have it all weekdays and I'm going to make it turn everything off. I'm going to put basically, um, set it for airplane mode as well as turning GPS off. So let me just click on uh, be at play so that it's going to be active. I go on and edit and under Telefono I can select Wi-Fi, I can turn the Wi-Fi off, I can select, um, turn the power off if I want. You can set up custom profiles to enable 
airplane mode on or turning Bluetooth or GPS off. Um, basically, the options are limitless on this application. Okay, I'm going to show you some battery stats. Um, the first, actually, just let me put into battery stat. As you can see, the first part of the day, I had everything on, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the middle part, you can see where it dips down, I had them all on. So it shows how much battery drain you get when you have all your hardware running, all your radios. As you can see, they're all on. Using these schedulers, you can turn them off during certain times of the day, like at, especially at night time, if you don't want it to run, and that will save a considerable amount of battery power. Uh, the last one I want to show you is called Profile Scheduler. It's the same as the other two, except it has the ability to turn them off during certain times of the day as well. These are the only applications you're going to need to download to save your battery. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to go and show you this much in depth, because you can go into it and have a look yourself. Uh, the last application I wanted to show you is Battery Battery Statistics. This is a must if you have... Um, if you think you've got your system draining too fast. So what it does is show you what your CPU is spooling up. So you can see I haven't gone above 1 GHz. So I could actually technically down clock and undervolt my device because it wouldn't actually do much harm. Um, you can go into wake lock, what keeps my device awake, what makes the CPU profile up. And you can see a little question mark beside this, that's a wireless LAN, so obviously that's waking up my device. And there's another one at the top that uses 4.5% of my battery, and that's called power management. So if I don't know what it is, click on the question mark, it links me to a wiki page, and it says that using partial weight lock to drill down the applications and services causing weight locks. So this service, partial, um, power management, actually stops applications running in the background so I actually want to keep that one running don't I? So the only applications you want to download to save your battery are better battery statistics and a hardware profiler so you can turn them off and on during certain times of the day. Thanks for watching.